So the first one to clarify, I guess the first one to clarify is you stated that there is an overlay, right? Mm -hmm. From banks or the lenders, right? The investors. However, I guess one way to kind of, you know, help people out is to try to tell them, generally speaking, I know each overlay is probably different at each investor and lender, but what have you seen to be kind of that minimum um, credit score overlay? So my first company had a 620. Okay. Um, then I worked at another company that went down to 580. So I would say really depending on who you're talking to, you're probably going to see it between a 580 and a 620 requirement. For most VA loans, that's what a lot of lenders do have in place. That 40-point window is what I've noticed um, of where you may get stopped. So if you're a, a veteran and you're like, hey, I had a 600 or 610 and got denied, keep in mind that's not the VA denying you. That's that lender having an overlay, which is really just a rule, just a fancy word for a rule, where they won't go down below that score. And they view it as a risk protection management for their, for their leading business. So it's yeah. not the, it's you know kind of like you can always add to but you can't take away from the handbook kind of like your commander's right. discretion yeah and that's to me that's the most important part of of that piece of the discussion is that just because you did get denied by that particular lender doesn't mean it's the va saying nope it's just never going to happen at this level it's actually the lender that's capping it there and maybe you know if you're if you're looking around and you're in touch with the right broker, they might be able to find you something a little bit better. I remember actually, um, I had a client, I brought him to you and you got it done with that client had a 580, I remember. Yep. 